Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about notifying managers or, or another interested stakeholder of a task when a task is assigned. You can, of course, do that in several no-code or very simple ways. You can use the Alert Me feature. You can also do under the list settings, under the advanced settings, you have the ability to send an email when, when ownership is assigned. That only works for the default assigned field though. If you want to have another field, then you need to create a workflow and that's what I'm going to do in this demonstration. First of all, I'm going to create the new column, which will contain the information about who is the sales manager for each lead. And that's of course going to be a personal group field. And then I'm going to open this site in SharePoint Designer. I'm going to copy the URL to the site here. Start SharePoint Designer. And then open the site by just pasting it in there. Now, once the site is open, I'm going to go into the leads list here, open that up, and then I'm going to create a new workflow. In this case, I'm going to use the SharePoint 2013 workflow, but I could just as easily use the 2010 workflow. So I'm going to notify manager. That's what I'll call this workflow. Okay. And this workflow is going to run when a new item is created. So I'm going to go back to the workflow settings and start this workflow automatically when an item is created. There we go. Then I'm going to go back and edit the workflow. And of course, every workflow needs to end. So I'm going to insert a go to action there. Go to. And the stage I'm going to go to is the end of workflow. And here's there's only going to be one action and that's send an email. So I'm going to send an email to the uh, assignee. You can do that. Workflow lookup for a user and get the assigned to and I'm going to make sure to know to get the email address like that and then I can do another sorry not there I'm going to do okay so I'll, I'll sign the assigned to that will get the email and then I'll get a cc to the manager I want the workflow lookup for user the current item and here we have the sales manager there we go. And again, I'm going to use the email address of that user. There we go. New lead added. And then I'm going to go and add the title of the lead there. Just going to get the, the task name of that. And then, of course, you can fill out more information like the priority of the lead get the priority so you can use all the fields that are defined for this list and that about does it now I'm just going to publish this and then refresh this page I didn't actually have to do that and now I'm just going to create a new task or a, a, which is a lead of course lead IKEA a Swedish company that uh, we'll have a sales leads for and that's assigned to me to deal with that and then um, click on show more and here's the field I added the sales manager and I'm gonna assign that to Antonio he's the sales manager for this task and there we go so now as you see there's a new column there which says notify manager and that gives the status of the workflow I actually don't need that in my view so I'm going to modify the view and just remove that for now I can still go in and see the status of the workflow by going in here under advanced and then workflows. There's no running, but there's one completed workflow and that's completed at stage one. So that's good. Now I'll switch over to Chrome where I'm logged in as Antonio and I'll refresh this page. And of course we'll see the same view there. And then I'll go into my emails and there's the new lead. So there you see I have the lead IKEA and then we have the priority normal. So that type of workflow allows you to send an email to 
anyone really in uh, your task. Thank you for watching this demo.